Grand Theft Auto gets reintroduced, Steam Store pulls a Scooby-Doo ending, Pokemon Go tries to remain relevant, Wii U gets put to sleep, Tomb Raider gets leaking faster than the Titanic, all that and more on today's last week's gaming news. Roll the intro! <laughs> A remastered version of Grand Theft Auto's Vice City's introduction scene was spotted on the interweb last week. This video was made by, uh, let me read the name here, Balaz Kalaxai, using assets and animations from the game. It features a ton of look at what the game would look like if it went through the remastered machine and it doesn't disappoint. Vice City turned 14 on October 27 and is regarded as one of the best in the series. So it's time to get coked up and do it like they did in the 80s. Do you wanna play rough? To my little friend. Or maybe not. Got Earlier last week, a leaked image from a Steam developer post, which was acquired by a member of a face punch forum, surfaced showing details of upcoming plans to tighten criteria on the storefront. One of the criteria that got the most attention was the misleading nature of some of the screenshots posted on the dev's front page. Here's the quote that was posted on the forum. We ask that any image you upload to the screenshot section of your store page should be screenshots and that show your game. This means avoiding using concept art, pre-rendered cinematic stills, or image that contains awards, marketing copy, or written product description. Please show customers what your game is actually like to play. One of the most recent blunders that falls under this cleanup is, well, you guessed it, No Man's Sky, which still features some image and videos that are not actually in the finished game. I know, I know, two weeks in a row this thing No Man's Sky. I really don't hate the game, I really like it actually, but unfortunately facts are facts and the game doesn't feature huge sand snakes or creatures that look like they spent the last 15 years on high settings in a microwave. God. Last week, Niantic released a new blog post detailing new features coming to the next update of Pokemon Go. Players will soon be offered daily and weekly bonuses for playing the game, giving them the boost to XP and Stardust. The weekly bonus would be given to players once they completed 7 daily bonuses in a row. The Pokemon Go Twitter account also released new information pertaining to egg hatching and spawning rate. Professor Willow has discovered that you may encounter other Pokemon where Pidgey, Rattata, and Zubat were previously more commonly found. And Professor Willow has discovered that Pidgey and Rattata no longer hatch from eggs. He also found that Eevee now hatches from 5 kilometer eggs only. Here's hoping that updates will hatch quicker and events will be more of a common spawn. See what I did there? I tried to flip the news on them to make a funny... Uh, never mind, never mind. God. Rumors about the Wii U being discontinued surfaced last week as Eurogamer's sources claimed that the console entered its last day of production last Friday. The Wii U was received very awkwardly in November 2012 because of the similar name to Nintendo's previous console. The gaming unit was forecast by its maker to sell approximately 100 million units by the end of its lifespan, but as of last month, the unit only sold 13 million console. News came from IT Media a Japanese website, cited that a Nintendo spokesperson told him that production will continue. In any case, after a long four years of this console's lifespan, it's time to take the console, bring it with you behind the shed, pat it on the head a couple of times, saying, telling it everything's gonna be okay, take your 22 caliber rifle, and put all yellow down. God. BlizzCon 2016 was last weekend, and Blizzard announced that the original Diablo would be patched into Diablo 3. This patch will offer the player to fight the four main bosses from the game, a graphic filter to recreate the look, the original soundtrack, 16 level, and will limit the player to 8 direction controls like the original game did. This will become available when the Tristam Diablo Anniversary patch goes live. Also in Diablo news, they will be reintroducing the Necromancer class. Honestly, I don't know why they got rid of it. It was one of my favorite alongside the Paladin class. The patch is scheduled to be available this week on the public test realm. But basically, Diablo is being Diablo and bringing everything back from the dead. God. Our dunce of the week comes from Tomb Raider this week. The next Tomb Raider was accidentally leaked last week when the Reddit user by the name of Triple H280 posted a picture of a laptop showing the PowerPoint presentation of the next installment. Shadow of the Tomb Raider seems to be the next title in the series. The game's title has also been confirmed by Kotaku sources. Tomb Raider has been developed by Crystal Dynamic for the last six games, and the sources from Kotaku state that the game will be made by Eidos Montreal all this time around. Now hopefully this will be a good lesson learned to not let everybody on the subway look at what you're working on your screen and probably don't wait till last minute to get your job done so this doesn't happen. Alright guys this is gonna do it for last week's gaming news. Hopefully you guys you enjoyed this edition. It wasn't a, it wasn't packed with a lot of very uh, high hitting news this week but I make do with what I had and it was very fun. Also I'd like to thank everybody that donated to Extra Life uh, last weekend. Really appreciate it. We rate in 25 hours we raise $115 for Chio here. 
and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody. Uh, the fun event. I really, it's uh, compared to the last year, I didn't, I, I, uh, last year's event, I didn't go to 24 hours. But this year, I did the 25 hours, no problem. And uh, yeah, I was very happy about that. About that. So that's it for this week's news. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Comment below if you anything you think I could change, make better, or anything like that. Just like you appreciate the video, I also appreciate that too. And I appreciate a lot, I guess. All right, guys, follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. And you can also now follow me on Instagram. And also YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. This was last week's gaming news. I'm your host, Me Time Gamer, and I will see you in the next one. Keep on keeping on.